Hi, it's Guy DiMartino. I'm a Northwest Indiana estate planning and probate lawyer. And I recently received this question, and I'd like to answer this question with you because a lot of people have a misunderstanding about these concepts in these ways. And the question was this. Are there advantages of a power of attorney over a guardianship? And in order for us to tease this out, we need to understand what these two uh, procedures and what these two documents are. Well, first, let's talk a little bit about a power of attorney. Power of attorney is a contract where you have the principal, and that would be you if you were uh, preparing the power of attorney, and then you would have the agent, and that would be the person that you appointed to act on your behalf, and that's called the attorney in fact. So you have the principal and the agent. You have you, and then you have the person who would be acting on your behalf. Now under Indiana law, there's a whole bunch of properties there's a whole bunch of powers that you could give to your attorney in fact. You can give them the ability to handle your finances. You can give them the ability to contract on your behalf. You can give them the ability to execute wills or documents. You can give them the ability to make your health care uh, decisions if you're unable to. You can give them the ability to sell your real estate, to do your banking, to make stock transactions, all those different types of powers. So you can have a limited power of attorney or you can have a general durable power of attorney. And powers of attorney are important and they allow your attorney in fact to do your business if you are unable to do your business. So you can, have, you can set the time when the power of attorney will come into effect or when the power of attorney can be used. If you enter just a durable power of attorney and you don't set the time that it can come into effect, then it will come into effect the date that it is signed. However, you can have a springing power of attorney which will come into effect based on some type of circumstance or some type of condition. And typically it would either be with physical or mental infirmity. So if your doctor were to certify that you are physically or mentally infirm, the power of attorney would kick in and your attorney, in fact, can do your business, can do your banking, can handle your transactions, can do the things that you might need to be done. If you do not have a power of attorney and you are physically or mentally impaired, nobody will be able to act on your behalf. And at that point in time, somebody would have to petition the court for a guardianship. And so that's a process that can cost a lot of money, that may require medical testimony, that can have people disputing who is gonna be the guardian, and it can take weeks, it could take months for a guardian to be appointed, and during that time, things in your life could be in limbo. So if a power of attorney can avoid a guardianship if you think about these things beforehand. You see, once you're physically infirm or mentally infirm and you're unable to enter the power of attorney, if you don't have the competency to sign the document or the contract between you, the principal, and the person that you appoint, the agent, then you're going to have to have a court determine that you are incompetent or that you have some physical or mental problem that requires you to be under the auspices of a court and the court would appoint a guardian to act on your behalf. 
and the guardian's going to have to report to the court, the guardian's going to have to give accountings to the court, and it just can cause a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of problem. So for most folks, a power of attorney is a way to go, but it's something you really have to think about, about who you want to be your attorney in fact, or the person to act on your behalf, your agent, and the powers that you want to give your agent to have, and when you want the power of attorney to come into effect. If you have any questions about a power of attorney or a guardianship, you can always give me a call or shoot me an email. I am Guy Martino. Have yourself a great day.